The How Relationship Podcast is now recruiting for Philadelphia. If you will be in or around the greater Philadelphia metropolitan area between April 28th and April 30th and would like to be a guest on the podcast, go to howtorelationship.net slash guest. Take five to ten seconds to fill out a quick form and a staffer will contact you if selected. Link in description. Here's the hard truth, guys. Women love cheaters. Women absolutely adore men who step out on them. Now, let me clarify that. Let me clarify that. Women love high-value cheaters. They hate low-value guys. Now, they'll date low-value guys. They get lonely. But if a low-value guy cheats, it's over. Because low-value men cheat with low-value women. Of course, we got fives and sixes walking around acting like they're nines and tens. They only have so many options. They end up getting with a low-value guy. Well, if that low-value guy cheats, chances are it's probably not going to be with a nine or a ten. It's going to be with a five or a six. So if that guy cheats, it's over. She was never in love with him in the first place. High-value men, not so much. If a woman is punching above her weight with regards to dating a high-value man, and let's, let's, let's face it, let's face it, even though most men don't realize it, most men have more value than most women. The men, the men don't know it. The women do, right? Like a lot of times we say, man, what is a girl that looks like that dating a guy who looks like him, right? Maybe he's not the 6'4 alpha Chad that we all imagine a guy like her to be dating. Well, she realizes that he has more value than she does. Whether he realizes it or not, at this point, is immaterial. Anyway, women have shown us that they love men who step out on them. They love cheaters, no matter what they say. No matter what they say they'll do, a lot of girls like to say, well, if he cheats, I'm gone. No, you're not. You're going to stay. Especially if he shows no remorse. Especially if he's unapologetic. Not to say that if you a guy, if, if you get caught stepping out, be like, screw you, I did it. Shouldn't do that. But you shouldn't apologize either. Apologizing for stepping out on your woman, that's wrong. It's the wrong way to handle it. If she finds out, that you've stepped out on her, she finds out you've got a side piece, just tell her, look, it was not my intention to, to make you feel this way, and I regret allowing you to catch me. But I am not sorry about what I did. I'm not. If you apologize for having stepped out on her, she loses respect for you. She loses respect for you. In a woman's mind, she's thinking, okay, so you're man enough to step out on me, but you're not man enough to just own it? This is one of the many reasons why women love Men who cheat. They do it, at least the ones who do it, they do it unapologetically. And women love unapologetic men. Now, as a side note, male quote unquote cheating is very, very different from female cheating. Shout out to Myron Gaines. He says this all the time, and I agree. Men show commitment through resources, women show commitment through sexual fidelity. Female cheating, female infidelity, is quite simply having sex with other men. Male cheating is not having sex with women outside of his relationship. No, male cheating is having a girlfriend or wife and having another full-on relationship with another woman. Not a side piece, another girlfriend. Male cheating is having another family, buying his side piece a house or a car. That is male cheating. You see, we as men, we commit our resources. We, we commit our exclusive resources to one woman when we decide to commit to her. Females commit their body. As a woman, you are expected in a relationship not to be sleeping with other men while you are in the relationship. Men, we are expected not to be spending our money on women other than our relatives when we're in a relationship. So the male version of quote unquote cheating is allocating our resources to other females other than the one we're in a relationship with. When a man has sex with another woman outside of his relationship, that's not cheating. Sorry, ladies, it's not cheating. It's not. It's just him sleeping with another woman. Now, women who belong to high-value men, they make peace with this. They make peace with the fact that, yes, their man is going to step out. In her mind, she thinks to himself, okay, and this is subconsciously, she thinks, I've got him all the time. He pays my bills. I, we lived, I live with him. He comes home. He sleeps with me. He sleeps in my bed. We live under the same roof. We have kids together. When he cheats... Okay, it hurts. But in the end, he comes home to me. He's committed to me. He's spending money on me, our kids, our relationship. Don't get me wrong, it certainly hurts. Because, I've, listen, I've been caught cheating plenty of times. 
And the first question my girlfriends always ask me after I stupidly get caught cheating is, do you love her? Do you love her? That's always the first question. And the reason they ask that is because they know it's just sex, or at least they try to understand, right? Now, when a woman cheats, the relationship is definitely over. You see, men, we cheat for sex and sex alone. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule. Yes, every so often, a man in a relationship will fall for the side piece and leave the main chick for the side piece. Yes, men leave their wives for, for their paramours, their lovers. It does happen. But it doesn't happen as often as you might think. Most of the time, the guy stays with his, with his girlfriend or he stays with his wife. The side piece is always convinced, okay, he's going to come to me. But 10 years later, he still hasn't committed. Okay, he's never leaving his wife. That's usually the way it goes. But when women cheat, when women cheat, it is over. And the reason for this is because women cheat for everything but the sex. Yes, sometimes when women cheat, it is about the D, right? But because sex is much more emotional for women, eventually, if she sleeps with a man on the side long enough, eventually she is going to catch feelings. Sex is always more emotional for women. Always. There's an emotional connection. Any woman that can compartmentalize sex from emotion like men do, that's a red flag. That means that woman has sex, has had sex with so many men so many times that their brain can't really can't really get that dopamine hit that comes from those emotions from sex. No, if a woman can compartmentalize sex from emotion, her soul is gone. Her soul is dead. Now, we as men, we can compartmentalize sex from feelings. We do this all the time. And women know this. So when we step out on them, if they find out, yes, it hurts. But that's what they can fall back on. Now, getting back to the reasons why women love men who step out on them. Well, first reason is, of course, pre-selection. A lot of people are unfamiliar with the concept of pre-selection, a lot more lately. But the bottom, the, 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 basic, the basics of pre-selection is women don't want men other women don't want. Like a woman could have the hottest guy ever. She could have a guy who looks like Chris Hemsworth. But if her friends don't tell her, hey, you know, you got a hot boyfriend or, or if, if her friends, her coworkers, her family members don't either directly or indirectly sign off on him by verbally telling him, hey, he's a good looking guy. If they're not flirting with him, if they're not making eyes at him, the girl starts to think, OK, well, I think Chris is hot, but why aren't my friends hitting on him? Why haven't any of my friends or family members told me that he's a good looking guy? This is what we call the hive mind. Women are very, very hive-minded. They know that they can't trust their own judgment, so they rely on the hive, right? So if they have a guy who they feel is attractive, if the hive doesn't give her the green light, she starts to question, okay, maybe this guy isn't so hot. Now, she doesn't like it when girls flirt with her boyfriend if he really is hot stuff, but, but at least she knows she made the, quote, right decision. So women don't want their men to step out on them with other women, but they like to know that he can. They like to know you can, guys. When she sees other women flirt with him, she thinks subconsciously, okay, I made the right decision. She didn't say that on the outside, right? She didn't say that on the outside. No, 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 no. She, listen, she's going she's gonna to do her level best to get the attention of her guy. There's nothing she can do, she, there's nothing she can do about other women flirting with her man. And she can pretend that she doesn't like it, and she doesn't. But again, that verifies that she made the right decision. Women who are 100% certain that their husband or boyfriend won't cheat, completely turned off. Completely turned off. If he can't cheat, he's unattractive, right? If he's unattractive, he can't cheat. That's why he can't cheat. If he won't cheat, it just means he doesn't have the balls to do it. There are a lot of wives out here with really, really, really good-looking husbands. These guys won't step out on their wives, right? And a lot of guys probably saying, oh, stepping out on your wife is wrong. The Bible says you shouldn't do this. The Bible says you shouldn't step out. Got a lot of guys in my comments lately talking about, Donovan's advocating for cheating. No, I'm not. I'm not advocating for anything. I am simply pointing out that there is no such thing as male cheating. Women cheat. Men exercise options. Men who talk like this, they're virtue signaling. You guys are virtue signaling. It's, it's, it's exactly the same thing as women. 
Well, I'd never smash a married woman. Sure you would if you were hot enough. Well, I'm not going to break up a happy home. Well, I got news for you, fam. If you don't, somebody else will. So it may as well be you. Look, man, when a woman decides she's going to cheat and she targets you, if you say no, somebody else will say yes. Now, most women, again, don't really like it, right? Like, and I'll put it to you this way. I'll put it this way. If a woman knows that her husband or boyfriend, if a woman knows that her man could or would cheat on her if given half the chance, that turns her on. It's uncomfortable and she doesn't like it, but it is a turn on. Some women even fantasize about their men smashing other women. Google it. Google it. Some women actually have fantasies about their husband smashing other women. Now, most women obviously don't like this idea, but deep down, deep down, they know that if their husband could or would cheat, it turns them on. It gives them that, it gives them that rush of validation. He could be with any woman in the world, but he's with me. And I'll tell you something else. The biggest turn on for a woman is suspicion of cheating. The biggest turn on for a woman is her suspecting you of cheating. You know, the interesting thing is, is that a lot of things that turn women on also pisses them off. You raise her voice to a woman, it pisses her off, but it turns her on because she sees that you can grab your balls and and raise your voice at her. Telling a woman no. Okay, does that piss her off? Yeah, but guess what? She's turned on because you had the balls to tell her no. Correcting bad behavior. Yeah, that pisses her off, but it also turns her on. Guys, these all piss her off and turn her on. Well, suspicion of cheating, that's in that same category. Another reason why women love men who step out on them is it answers the question, is he really the best I can do? Girls can have a guy who has it all. They will still ask themselves the question, is he really the best I can do? I remember this, there was this Lois Lane cartoon where she's awake and I guess Superman is asleep, I guess, from having smashed all night. And she's like, is, is Superman really the best I can do? Guys, listen, man. Women are always looking to upgrade. This is hypergamy. This is how it works. When you step out on her and she finds out, that eliminates that thought. Why? Because she's hung up on you. She knows that other women, she knows that at least another woman thinks you're the best she can do. And the more it happens, the more validation it gives her. Now, whether or not you're the best doesn't matter. She knows that other women don't want you. If she sees that other women want you and this is verified by you stepping out, she will stop asking this question. And if your value is high enough, guess what? She won't be looking for anyone anyway. Another reason why women love men who sleep with other women outside of their relationship is because it shows that you are still a wild stallion, right? A civilized man is an unattractive man, right? Women always want a civilized man. They want to tame men for no other reason but that it, it's an ego thing. It's just an ego. I tamed him. He did it for me. I settled down the wild stallion. But deep down, this is not what they want. So when he steps out on her, it shows her that he's still that untamed bad boy she fell for. Here's another reason. Territorialism. Territorialism. See, as men, we're territorial over our woman's body, right? We simply cannot get over it if another dude smashes her. This dude was inside of her. She's tainted. That's why it hurts far worse when our women cheat on us than when we cheat on them or step out on them. Now, women, on the other hand, they're, they're territorial over our resources, right? The example of the family earlier, buying the side chick the house or the car. So when he steps out sexually, yes, it does hurt, but not as it doesn't have as much of an impact. Remember, as long as he comes home, takes care of the kids, I'm good. It still hurts. It still hurts. But as long as he takes care of home, then I, I, I can, I'll get over it. The worst thing you can do as a man is get caught cheating or get caught stepping out. Guys, you are doing her a disservice. You are forcing your woman to react. She doesn't want to, but now she has to, especially if it becomes public. A woman is thinking, damn, now I got to do something about this. When all she was going to do was yell at you, maybe throw, a, throw her cell phone at you, storm out of the door, but stay with you. A while back, I did a podcast called The 10 Side Chick Commandments. Rule number one is do not get caught. Don't get caught. You're forcing her to have to publicly react. Girls have dumped guys they didn't want to. And then we wonder why. Go, why, why, is she back with, why is she back with Donovan? Didn't he cheat on her? She never wanted to, she never wanted to dump him in the first place. But 
everyone found out that you stepped out on your girl, and so she had to dump you. Well, she was still smashy on the side. A lot of times, girls aren't really mad that you stepped out on them. They're just mad that they caught you. Right? They're just like, damn, why did you have to be so messy? How could you be so stupid to get caught? Women know what's up, guys. They know that high-value men have options. In a woman's mind, listen, their rules are, listen, don't get her pregnant. Don't bring, don't bring home any STDs. Don't be seen in public. Don't smash her in our bed. And don't let me catch you. These are unwritten rules. There's no need to sit down and discuss it. It's understood. If your woman knows you can, you can step out on her, then there's no need to advertise or exercise it. OJ Simpson made this terrible mistake. Nicole Simpson, Nicole Brown Simpson knew OJ was smashing other broads. He's OJ freaking Simpson. OJ's mistake was that he bragged about it. He bragged about it. He threw it in her face all the time. All the time. Well, Nicole ended up allegedly sleeping with Marcus Allen, and that was allegedly the motive that OJ Simpson was acquitted for. I'll leave you with this story. I often talk about it on my podcast when we talk about the compartmentalization of sex and love. Peter Sellers. Peter Sellers, troubled British actor, agent Jacques Clouseau of the franchise The Pink Panther. His first wife was Anne Howe. Anne Howe was married to her for 12 years. And during Peter Sellers' film career, he was an incorrigible womanizer, as all big movie stars are. Anne Howe, listen, she, she, she'd dump him, take him back. They were married for 12 years. Finally, she said she had enough. After 12 years of marriage, she finally filed for divorce from Peter Sellers. Well, Peter Sellers went on to be married, I think, maybe one or two more times. Died of a heart attack, massive heart attack, at 54 years old. In his wallet, he had slept with many women around the world, had four or five wives. In his wallet, there was one picture. A picture of his first wife, Anne Howe. Women inherently understand that sex is just sex and nothing more. Yes, it does hurt when their man steps out on them. But deep down, they understand they got to make peace with it. This is the price you pay. Listen, in order to be with a woman, you got to put up with a woman's emotions. You have to put up with all their shenanigans. Well, guess what? When you're with a man with options, women have to make this pact with themselves. Okay, if this guy has options, he is probably going to exercise these options. And listen, as a woman, if you're okay with that, cool. If not, that's cool too. But understand this, ladies. If you want a man who, if you want a man who's going to remain faithful, if you want a man who's not going to exercise his options, then you need to lower your standards. That's all there is to it. Because if a man has options, he is going to exercise said options. That's just all there is to it. L listen, is this the way it should be? Of course not. Of course not. Women shouldn't love the men who step out on them. But for most women, this is really the only kind of masculinity they see. Someone around here talking about, well, I love a toxic relationship. No, you love a relationship where a man is being a man. And unfortunately, our society has devolved so much. That stepping out on your woman is one of the few ways that shows women that you're unafraid of being a man that isn't illegal. At least not yet, right? We got street harassment. Get written up a citation for street harassment, strike out of a conversation. If you hook up with a girl, if she drank, she couldn't consent. Masculinity has quite literally been legislated out of male behavior. Most women haven't seen masculinity. Unfortunately, their very first experience with what they believe is masculinity is when their man steps out on them. And this is exactly why women do and always will love cheaters. Thanks for watching.